Hello everybody, Nick here at Sky and Dickie. We appreciate you stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. This tech video, we're doing one of our back to basics bits and we're talking about clutch alignment tools. Now, I know this might actually seem like something pretty redundant, pretty simple, not something that you would need a lot of info about or any really how to's. And you might be right, but you'd be surprised how many calls we get about these because there are the plastic ones that we sell with our LS7 clutch kits. And of course, this is also the most common one that you would see in most clutch kits when they're included, like the aftermarket one like this McLeod RXT I have in front of me. But there's also metal ones, or some of y'all are a little more ingenious, kind of like I am. And for instance, this is a used Viper T56 input shaft. I've kept this around one day to build a T56 for myself, but also I've used that a couple times in a couple vehicles that use the larger pilot bearing that need an alignment tool. All of these work. And we get some people asking, well, which one's best? Well, there actually are a couple reasons why you might use one of these or another. Now, before I go any further, the plastic ones, they work great. They really do. There is a reason that they're included with a twin disc clutch, a single disc clutch, and there's a reason why we sell them. Good, inexpensive, tried and true. Reusable too. I have a toolbox full of these from anything from Muncie four speed style splines and Borg Warner T5s, of course T56. I even have some for imports when I've helped, you know, guys like Chance over in the off-road section built a super years ago. I have one left over from that as well. So I have a toolbox full of these, use them all the time. But I will say these tend to be a little bit more forgiving in sloppiness. Sloppiness might not be the best term, but it is true. When you're aligning these in a clutch disc at the back of the engine, before you tighten up your pressure plate, there's a little bit of play in here. Most of the time, that's actually not that big a deal. When you take that transmission and you're finally stabbing it up there, and I know it's heavy, but you're manhandling that thing in there, and you're finally you know, lining the actual input shaft into the pilot bearing, if you did this close enough on most stock or low pressure clutches, you're gonna find that you can wiggle it right in there. But I will say, if you're working on maybe something a little more heavy duty, take a look at this McLeod RXT. This is something that's once again mine. I've been keeping this around. I actually grabbed it used from somebody that actually had to go to a triple disc option. It did not hold enough power. And this is a beast. These things are great clutches. I've installed a handful of them, driven a handful of them. I've always really, really liked them. McLeod's always made a really good quality product. And installing these was always just real easy. But when you have two of these discs and you're trying to get it lined up and on the RXT here with a little bit of extra pressure plate pressure, this gets more difficult. Now, they do offer this with their RXT clutches. So it's okay to use these, but be very careful. You really wanna take your time and make sure that this is truly getting everything lined up because you have two discs and because they're being held so much harder to the flywheel, when you're trying to stab that transmission, you really can have a fight on your hands. It's happened before. Dane here has experienced it. I've experienced it myself. The stock and kind of more entry level performance clutches, they got a little bit of wiggle. You can actually move this disc just a hair when you're trying to stab that in there. Something real high powered like this thing right here, it can fight you. That's when something like a metal one comes in. This is actually Dane's personal one. He doesn't know it until we just started this video, but I stole it off of his desk. Thanks, Dane. But what this is for is for when you want something that's way more precise. This locks in almost perfectly. Ooh, so much so it's actually hard to get it in here. But there it is. The point of this is where this will line up perfectly. That way, when you finally get the transmission and you're manhandling that thing into the clutch disc splines, it'll actually go right the first time every time. And you don't have to fight the thing. These are also good if you happen to have a shop. If you're a business owner, if you're doing work on the side and you're gonna be doing it more than just once or twice a year, not a bad idea to have a metal one around that you can use a lot. Or you can be poor like me and use an input shaft. <laughs> All of it's fine, but there are actually reasons why there's different ones. Maybe you didn't know that. I'll admit, I only learned it just about a decade ago myself from professionals that installed transmissions all the time. Now, <clears throat> 
We do appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. Now, the reason we chose to take the McLeod out of my storage and use it is we actually have a McLeod sale going on on our website, sdparts.com. We actually have a code, I believe it's McLeod10 for 10% off from today, Friday, when we post this to the end of April, 2022. So for the next week, anything we or McLeod have in stock, 10% off. For you guys that, you know, like to represent the man pedal, you know, you wanna shift that H pattern with your hands and you got a clutch and you need one, now's probably the time to place an order. As much as parts have gone on, up over the past, you know, year or so, they're not gonna be getting any cheaper. So while you can, get a good discount, get a really good quality product that I personally have used and I, I can vouch for them, they're good quality stuff. Get something so you can keep your project on the road this summer. Also, one thing before we leave, you like this shirt? I actually love it. These are new shirts we have coming out. We're finally getting some merchandise going. Dane actually here drew this up. This is cool. Do you remember the CRC slash Copa we had at SEMA? You saw all the videos, I know. Dane made some really cool videos of that thing. This is actually his drawing of that car in the engine bay. These are really sharp. Believe me, I put it on to come do this video and I've already been asked about it 20 times walking through the office for just 30 seconds. So keep an eye out. We're gonna be having a lot more of merchandise like this, more shirts, more designs. Go to the website get some McLeod for 10% off. If I didn't already have a clutch, I'd definitely be doing that. That's actually a pretty good deal. And we appreciate you guys stopping by for another weekly tech video. We do these videos once a week to help out hot rodders like you and me. So I'll see you next week for another tech video. Thanks for stopping by.